Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mizuna Lenizi. Uh, today in this video I will explain the distribution of pronouns uh, because I think some of you uh, find it difficult when we say that a pronoun is a free or bound. Uh, so before we start, guys, you know, uh, she, he, uh, they, uh, what else, um, him, her, them, all of these, uh, they are pronouns. So you know the difference between a pronouns and anaphor. Uh, look at this example, Heidi uh, loves her. Uh, actually, uh, her refers to someone else, not Heidi itself. Why is that? Because we have different endings. So, if you want to say, Heidi loves her, and put here, uh, I, which means, uh, refers to the same person, which is Heidi, this sentence actually will be ungrammatical. Why is that? Because, uh, we can say that a pronoun is, uh, bound by an antecedent in the same clause okay this is number one uh let's move to this example to uh to make it clear for you heidi said that she discovered with art actually this sentence they are the same but or i mean they are similar but they are not the same actually um here she refers to what refers to uh heidi why is that? Because we have endings, which endings uh, helps us a lot to know uh, if that pronoun refers to the same person or not. Okay, she refers to Heidi because uh, here we have endings I, I, so they have the same endings, which means uh, they are the same person. But uh, here she say, uh, Heidi said that she discovered with art. Uh, she refers to someone else, not Heidi itself, because we have J, which means a uh, uh, different uh, or uh, refers to someone else. Okay, uh, here we have a principle B, or I'll, let's start from here. Free, pron uh, free pronoun means not bound. So principle B says that a pronoun must be free in its binding domain. Uh, so binding domain, you know, guys, uh, means a clause, which means it can be uh, free if it in the same clause, like uh, in this example, or actually it can be also uh, if in in, uh, in different clause it can be also free. But if we have a pronoun and we want to say that a pronoun is bound uh, by an antecedent. Uh, actually, uh, it has to be in different clause, like here in this example. So, guys, uh, inshallah, you will be able to differentiate uh, between uh, a pronoun that is a free that or a pronoun that it's uh, or it's a uh, bound. Uh, actually, look at the sentence. And uh, if we have a sentence that, or we if we have uh, like here a clause, uh, it has two meaning. Uh, it can be a free. It can be uh, also bound. So endings uh, helps us a lot to know uh, if it a bound or a free. Actually, uh, these sentence they are ambiguous sentence. So uh, uh, the important thing. Uh, we have a pronoun that is bound uh, if and only if in different clause. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please uh, let me know.